with the introduction of ether, we can solve Faraday paradox. You see on the link below this video, it's an excellent video, on the minute, five minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, so when we place a magnet and we put magnet on the rotating plate, we will have electric induction. Why? Because the magnet is rotating. And this generates electric induction, okay? Magnetic force, magnetic field is rotating because the magnet is rotating. So when we lift the magnet and the magnet is not rotating and we are rotating the plate, what happened? That the plate also rotates the magnetic field of the magnet and we have the same effect. But when we rotate the magnet and the plate is not rotating, we don't have electric induction. Why? Because rotating magnet is rotating magnetic field. But this ma magnetic field is not going through the plate. That's the case. Uh, and uh, with the ether in the in the physics, we can explain electricity and magnetism very, very, very good. Because when you have a permanent magnet, the atomic structure of the magnet is causing that the ether start moving, and ether moves in one. On, from one side inside and then it moves outside. This is the flux of superfluid space, which today we call ether, in the through the permanent magnet. And uh, that's why the magnet actually has no positive and negative pole in the sense as an electric field is positive and negative. In the, in the permanent magnet, we only have a fl flux of ether. And what is happening? Let's say that you have a battery, directly current battery. What is happening? On the negative pole, you have a, a lot of electrons placed in one place. And these electrons, this concentration of electrons is, is, is creating polarization of ether. That's why where there's a negative pole of the battery, the ether there is negatively charged. And what is happening then that electric current is a flow of ether <clears throat> Ether is following the electric wire. This is electricity. Electricity is a flow of ether around the wire. We know in, 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 uh, uh, in physics that uh, electric current is running around the wire. This is the flow of ether, which is polariz pol polarized by, by high concentration of electrons. So, with ether, actually, we can explain all the uh, all the phenomena in physics that have not been explained yet properly. The entire relativity theory can be beautifully uh, described with uh, with the dynamic model with the it with the model of dynamic ether because ether is dynamic. Ether is moving with the physical object. And it's rotating with the physical object, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this is the case. We will bring ether back into physics. In this year, 2024, this is the year that ether will be back to physics. Sure, with a new name, superfluid quantum space, but anyway, we will talk about ether because, uh, because this is... This is nice name. <clears throat>